What's going on guys, Kev here, Jailbreak Central, and today I'm going to be talking about the Jailbreak for iOS 6.0.1 with Snowbreeze 2.9.7 for Windows. This is for Windows only, and this only works on the iPod Touch 4G, the iPhone 3GS, and the iPhone 4. So now it doesn't support the, um, the iPhone 5 and the iPad Mini, all those new devices. However, it does work for the older devices, and I'm sure a lot of people still have those, so that's why I'm making a video on it. Now, I don't actually have one of those devices to show you, unfortunately. However, I'll put a link in the description to this website, which is basically where you download it and you can learn all about it. So now this has just been updated. It's called Snowbreeze, which is, for those of you who don't know, it's a very popular jailbreak tool to jailbreak the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touches. So this does work for iOS 6.0 and 6.0.1, which 6.0.1 was just released for the iPhone. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. This was just a quick update um, telling you guys about this jailbreak because some of you guys might not know about it. Now, the only thing that you want to note is that this is a tethered jailbreak for your devices. So that means that you have to connect it to your PC in order to make it working again. What I mean by that, for those of you who don't know what tethered is, is it means that once you jailbreak your iPhone, if you restart your phone or if it dies and you plug it in and you turns on and the battery goes up again, you have to reconnect it to your computer to get it working again, which is very annoying. Now, if you don't have a problem with your phone dying or having to restart it often, which I don't think a lot of people do, um, then that's totally fine and it doesn't really matter. However, if you find that your phone dies constantly and you have to plug it in constantly, then this is you definitely don't want to do it. You should just wait for the untethered version, which should come fairly soon because once the tethered version is out, the untethered version will come fairly quickly. So that's basically it. If you don't have problems with your phone dying or having to restart your phone, then definitely do this jailbreak. It's very, very useful. However, if you have problems and find that your phone dies a lot, definitely don't do it because it's very, very annoying. That's the problem with tethered jailbreaks. So basically that's it. Once you go to this website, just scroll all the way down and it'll say download links right here. And you basically just download Snowbreeze, click here, and then follow the, the steps in Snowbreeze. That's pretty much it. So other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. And as always, see you guys later.